This is a tutorial on the gear change. Okay, so the first thing you have to do for this is to match up these edge pieces with the gears in them with their respective corner pieces. And you want to match it to both the corner pieces at the same time. So first I'll start with this yellow. First thing you have to do is to find the two corner pieces with yellow in them, which would be these two pieces. Now I have to add them in. So to do that, right now, there's no way of directly putting them in. So what I'm going to do first is to have one connected to the yellow and one not. From here, once you have this done, you want the edge piece with the corner piece on the bottom and just the cor other corner piece on the top. From here, they should be directly adjacent to each other. From here, you're going to turn the top face once. Then, while keeping this in the middle, you're going to turn the sides so that the corner pieces now match. From here, you're going to turn the top face once again, and then the sides twice. One, two. And you, as you see, that'll match up. And the way this works is, once you have one of these done, three other sides will also automatically be done. This one, that one, that one, and that one. So now you have one, two, three, and four that are completed. And now you want to do the same to the others. If I look over here, there's a red. And it's already connected to another red, but the other one is not connected. So I'll look for the other red, which is right here, and I'll repeat the same procedure. The edge piece with the corner is on the bottom, and the lone edge corner piece is on the top. From here, I'm going to turn the top once, then turn the sides, keeping the red in the middle, once. Now the two corner pieces are at the top, while the edge piece is down here. From here, turn the face top face again, once and then the sides while keeping this in the middle twice once twice okay so now that's good one two three and four and since I already saw the other one before all I have to do is turn this once and that is also good as well now for the last part right here okay so right now again just turn simply turning this won't ever solve all of them at once as you can see there's only two here and the last one's up here so, from here, if you notice, looking at from here, I want to solve the green. And the edge piece is already down here, while the two corner pieces corresponding to it are already at the top. So, that's basically the same thing I did a while ago while skipping the first part. So, with the edge piece on the bottom and the two corner pieces on the side, you want to turn the on the top. You want to turn the top face once, then turn the sides once and twice. Now, just move this one back. And now all of those are now solved. Now the last thing to do is to solve these center pieces. And there are two algorithms I use to solve the center pieces. One of the algorithms swaps the four going around in a circle here. So it swaps four. The other algorithm swaps all six. So using those, you can solve it when it's in a situation where all of them are switched, where four of them are switched, or where two of them are switched. In this case, there are four that are switched, so I'll just use the one algorithm. And that algorithm would be to keep this piece up here in mind. Always keep that at the top. Now from there, you're going to turn once. Now put bring it back to the top. So you bring it clockwise. And then the top face goes clockwise. And then you undo what you did before. You go counterclockwise, keeping that at the top, and now go clockwise again. And just repeat that. Clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise. And that will solve the cube, or the puzzle. And just in case, I want to show you the other situations as well. So that was the algorithm that swaps the four going in a ring around the top and the bottom, but sometimes you have a case where you have to solve all six of them at once or where you have to solve two. To solve two, you just do the four and then the six, or the six and then the four. To solve all six, you do this other algorithm. The other algorithm would be to keep this one, to keep, well, to keep the left side exactly where it is. So put your left hand there and don't move it. So from here, I'm going to turn the right and the top faces only. So with the right, it's going to be clockwise, 
clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, and just repeat that. Clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, 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 counterclockwise, clockwise. Now as you can see, that's rotated everything. And if I do the first algorithm I showed you, then these four would be correct, and these two would not be correct. So I'm just going to do the very last algorithm I showed you again, so that I can solve this one more time. So keep your left hand on the puzzle, on the left side. Using the right and the top, I'll do clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, 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 counterclockwise, clockwise, 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 counterclockwise, and clockwise. That's how you solve the gear change. Thank you for watching.